Hello everyone, I'm back. Let me show you what we've done. So our welder has finished welding up the frame rails. And so we have everything mocked together on the chassis. Now when I say mocked together, the way this works is if you look, all of these pieces have tabs and the tabs fit in the slots. And then all we do is weld where the tab and the slot meet. So you can see each of these, there's your tab, there's your slot. We'll just weld across there. So all this allows for very accurate alignment. Everything's been CNC machined. You can see there's all the welds, the chassis table. We bolt it down to the chassis table to make sure everything stays aligned. Uh, there's a large plate that goes over this whole area right here, ties all of it together. You can see we have our Strickland Racing ink uh, engraved in various places on the parts. So what makes this so strong is each of these are basically uh, chassis plates. So it gives it a lot of structural rigidity, uh, torsion resistance. There's more pieces that are missing right now. Uh, we don't have them mocked up in place, so they will add some more strength. The engine's going to go back here. There's some braces that are missing and some plates that are missing from here. But we just wanted to put everything together and see what it looks like. Unfortunately, space-wise, we have to put the uh, bodies, the Cobra body, back on this table in and out every day. So this chassis has to come off here. So I wanted to get a video of it uh, before we had to take it out. And there's Charlie. He's the one that's um, designed all of this and fabricates it. They told me today my car hauler would not be, the broken axle would not be repaired for several more days. And until I get the car all repaired to get some stuff out of here, we're tripping over everything. All right, and so while this was going on, I was working on finishing up the first engine. It is assembled with the exception of, I thought I measured really carefully about the bolts that hold the intake manifold on. So I went and got the 12 bolts that I thought it would take. I come here and I got inch and a half and they need to be two inches. So every one of them would just get like one or two threads, which obviously isn't enough. So I'm going to go tomorrow to the bolt store and go get some more bolts. And for those of you who don't know, yes, there is a such thing as a bolt store. All right, now what I did here and I saved you from watching the video is I got the second engine out and I took off the front timing cover. If you look at the timing cover here, they are a lot alike. But some of the mounting holes, if you look at this one, see there's that gap, hard to show you, but right here there's that gap. If you look, that gap isn't there. It's got a boss in there because everything bolts through uh, the timing cover. So this timing cover had to come off. In the kit, they give you uh, partial gaskets that you can use because this is the original gasket and that uh, timing cover bolted up here. So they give you this partial gasket gasket that goes through here and then a partial gasket there so that when you put it back together you can seal everything back up. You can see it already has a dual roller timing chain. Uh, there is a fuel pump but we don't have a fuel pump and luckily because it doesn't work with a fuel pump this kit that kind of leave that part out. So we have an electric fuel pump that we're going to use. Uh, the other thing is I made a last minute change. I decided to take off the cast iron heads and go with aluminum heads. Uh, luckily, Summit Racing is here in Arlington, which isn't too far from here. So I ordered that today. I ordered two aluminum heads and some bolts and some uh, various stuff, gaskets, head gaskets. So after I leave here, I am going to go to Summit and go grab those. So my plan was to have both of these uh, engines done today. Obviously that didn't happen. This one's mostly done except for my screw up with the bolts. And then this one is would be hasn't even started yet. Uh, so tomorrow I'm going to swap out the heads and see how far I can get on assembling that. Uh, one of the other things we got from Summit was the uh, bell housing. Uh, Charlie ordered one, wanted to make sure it fit. It fit, so he picked up the second one from uh, Summit. And I think that's it. There's, whoops, there's my box for the uh, March stuff.
when I get around to that tomorrow. And I think that's it. We've got a couple other things to unbox. Uh, I'll do that later. But right now, I think that's an update. Finish up with a close up of these wells. Oh, yeah. The, the welder is just phenomenal. If you look at this, his welds are artwork. So it was definitely a good decision to have him do them rather than me. Mine would have been <laughs> functional, but they wouldn't have looked anywhere near this nice. So you can see every one of them. And so one of the things about this chassis table is whenever you weld stuff, it tends to warp. So what it is, is there are bolt holes here, and these are the bolts that we use so that everything gets bolted down solidly so that it won't warp, it can't warp. Uh, when it cools off, it's held in place. We flip it over, put shims on there to make up for the weld thickness, and then weld the other side. So everything is held completely in a line. Once they're welded, these bolts right here go in, hold it to the chassis table, and that indexes these frame rails in every plane by just bolting them. And so something that you can see is this chassis table of uh, Charlie's is basically a work of art. It has all of these holes. It has different diameter circles. It has different angles already uh, milled into it. Um, let's see. Oh, it has measurements uh, here and here, all along here. And then pretty much any angle that you can think of. Uh, the, these are every angle even on this side, they're every angle odd on the other side. Okay. Every even number degree and every odd number degree is what I'm trying to say. All right, well, that's all I've got. Let's go ahead and- Time to tear it up. <laughs> go ahead, uh, like, subscribe, Hit that alert, and if you don't know what's going on, you don't know Jack. Bye.